Now, what happened to the castle? Um, well, good old Mr. Cromwell decided to come and uh, destroy it when he came to Ireland. And wow, these are cool. Green and white, watching Ireland. Wait, so what's your name? I'm Jill. Jill? Ronan. Ronan? Gwen? Noel. Noel? Christmas, we're going to yes. Christmas. Yeah. I'm the number one mouse in the house. <laughs> Every house should have a mouse. It's all about me now, stop talking. Good morning, it's the uh, January 4th, Saturday, 11.30. I'm just about to get the bus from Redmond Square, just outside Iceland here. And I'm heading off to Ferns. Today we're gonna walk around the small little village of Ferns. There's a castle there, I'll talk about that. And we'll see what Ferns has to offer on January, Saturday. Um, a new uh, holiday weekend. Uh, on Monday we have uh, St. Bridget's Day. It's the first time that we're having it. So it's an extra bank holiday to look forward to. And Ireland today are playing Wales in the Six Nations, so that's happening also today. Okay, so we just got off the bus. There's a few places I wanted to go see. First off, I want to, here's the, uh, the cathedral in the middle of uh, the Ferns Diocese. Well, I'll tell you a little bit of, about Ferns, why I picked Ferns, and some historic facts about it. Now, we'll take a look at this church over there. But so basically, Ferns was found in. Uh, 598 um, a, lot of, a little known fact is that Ferns was actually um, a large town in the past it was the uh, the capital of the kingdom of Leinster and it was even at one point the capital of uh, Ireland when the kings uh, ruled from the south uh, so technically this is the capital of Ireland at one point in history so now we're gonna go up, walk around, I'm gonna try to find the, um, where the castle is, the ruins of the castle, and we'll walk around the whole village and I'll show you what it has to offer. So this is where we just got off the bus stop here. We're right at the uh, roundabout, the post office, restaurant and that, and we're gonna walk up this way. I have uh, looked on my good old Google Maps and it uh, pointed me with the direction we need to go. We'll take a look at the buildings that we have. And 
Here's a, a bar and restaurant, uh, the courtyard. Maybe later on we're going to find one of the pubs and we'll stop and get a, a pint of Guinness after we've had our walk around the town. Here's some lads. How's it going lads? Play garden for the kids. Just up ahead. There's a castle here. Oh look at that, it has a little castle. Look at the hills in the background and that. Very nice. And uh, to the left here, looks like the castle. Another known fact that uh, ferns this year are the reigning uh, senior Wexford uh, hurling champions. So if you could see it when you're walking around, you see all the bunting on the buildings and that, the red and white. That's to commemorate that when they show support of their teams when they're in the championships and that. So you see all through the town, you'll see the red and white. See? There's an old shop that's converted into a home. Calm O'Neill News Agent. Very interesting. Let's see what he says here. Ancient capital of Leinster. And these are the hats, helmets, in medieval times that they used to wear. The hell's that? Huh. Let's see, we we'll keep walking. Power Brothers Engineering. There's a hair beauty salon here. There's some more bunting, the red and white. My team in Wexford in town, in St. Mary's the model of town, they have red and white as well. And for county-wise, there's Cork, uh, Derry has it, uh, red and white, uh, Tyrone has red and white. Here's Chieftain Bookmakers. Looks like they're closed. There's Doyle's Bar. Looks interesting. St. Aidan's Monastery, that way. So we'll first we'll walk this way. See what we have here. The Thatch. Is it a pub or restaurant? It's hard to say. Well, it looks like I see rugby balls in there, so I'd say it's a pub. And there's a daybreak, a little grocery store. And it looks like it's the castle closed. No, I think we can get in here. Look at the old steps they have. You go up here, here, and get down so you can climb up that way. But we won't climb up that way, we'll just uh, do the lazy way and walk right through. So here's the opening time, so it's 10 o'clock to 5 o'clock. The last admission is uh, 45 minutes before closing, so it's free admission. And then they have a heritage trail sign, shows you the walking. Gives you all the details of where you are and what's in the, in the area. How are you? And then here's the, the grounds. Now, what happened to the castle? Um, well, good old Mr. Cromwell decided to come and uh, destroy it when he came to Ireland and pretty much ransacked the whole country. Um, he destroyed Drogheda too. Drogheda, the whole city was fun. There wasn't a building left when he left and he Killed a lot of women, children, nuns, everything. He was just a, a nasty, nasty character. Look at this building. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna take a thumbnail here.
For those of you that haven't seen that, make sure you the link below for the Kilkenny blog. It was very interesting. St. Canessis Church Cathedral. I keep making a mistake, it's Canessis or Canessis. Here we go, look at the building. Here and the back side of it. Imagine what it would like when it was all done. Look at this, the girth of the walls, how thick they are. Imagine being up there. Don't think you can get up there. And then here's the other side. So there's the slits, so you'd be there, the archers would be there, and they'd be able to defend the castle. Although they weren't able to defend it against Cromwell. It's very interesting. No entry. So there's stairs up there, but you can't get to unless it's a guided access tour. And I don't see anyone around. So this would encompass the whole castle. But like I said, raised to the ground by my friend, Mr. Cromwell. And then here's like, imagine this would be like a moat all around it to defend it. This would be a drawbridge. We'll walk around this side. Thick walls, eh? Would it take some doing to sack it though, eh? But Cromwell had a fierce army. And then here's the back part. Which is the other side of the wall. And we're inside there, see? It goes all the way up. Very interesting. I think what we'll do is we'll leave by these funny steps. The ones I showed you are built into the walls. They have them all over Ireland. Like when you see in these big walled estates, every once in a while they would have these little steps for workers to be able to get in and out. So they wouldn't have to go all the way to the, the, main, the main entrance. Like I said, here's the steps you get up and out. And Garda Shiakana sitting there in the car. Here's some rubbish showing. I don't like that. Like, why wouldn't you pick it up? And here's a little display of what Fern's Castle is. And this is just like residential areas, homes. You see how this one's flying? Okay. And what's this in dedication to? It has the uh, Ferns colors on the top, 1798. Uh, so, in proud and grateful remembrance of Father John Murphy of Bo of Oak, who led the brave men of North Wexford and died with them. Uh, for the sacred cause of civil and religious liberty in the insurrection of 1798, this monument is erected by the people of the parish of Ferns, his birthplace. Born Tim Curry, 1753, died in Tullow, 1798. We go. Here's some more residentials. There's a little butcher's right there. The discount fuel center. So that's where people get their coal and stuff. And sticks. And there's the castle and from this view. Must have been something in its day. You know, walk back uh, for St. Aidan's. Let's see, we'll walk this way. And then we'll head down towards the village. So yeah, the thatch. So it looks like a pub, restaurant. Let's see. And then we have Doyle's right here. Doyle's is a very popular Wexford name. You can find them all over the place. Okay, and then we'll cross over here. Walk we'll this way. See what we find down here. That's a nice 
building there. I like this, the stonework. Very nice. See, I don't like the modern one that was at the, the circle by the bus stop. I like these ones. Like this. There's character in it. Take a look, see what it is. See the stone? Well, I don't think you... Here it is. Sister's Adoration. Foundation stone of this chapel was laid by Bishop Brendan Kamiski, 30th of January, 1990. 30 years ago, 33 years now. I wonder what that is. I guess it's some sort of a tree. I don't see a sign. There's some grave markings here in the ground. Mary Redman of Cora. I work with the Mary Redman. Not the same one. See this. We'll walk around the back. Very nice. Well kept. No rubbish here. Very nice. Who is marking? And that's it. All right. We'll carry on. Hmm. The master is here and calling you. Different languages. Le maître est là, il t'appelle. El master resta ahí, te llama. Ta master, un chat august, tache et gat art. And don't know German or that. So I guess this is part of the, looks like it's connection with the. The church building there, I wonder if it's like a residence or something, like maybe for sisters. And then there's bunting all over the place, even little alleyways ways you find it. See where we're going down here. I think this is all residence. Well, look at these houses. Now, it's private, so, but look. Wow, these are cool. There's a whole bunch of them. Too bad it's private. I'd like to have got my look look in there. All right, that's it for there. So that must be Saint Aidan's Monastery, I'd imagine. That's what the sign points to. So okay, now we're back onto the main street opposite the Chieftain Bookmakers, where we came before. We'll walk down the little village in town and see what it has to offer. Maybe go into a shop or two, or if there's anything that tweaks my eye, maybe get a pint somewhere. Just wanted to show you what this little historic town in Wexford, so, which, like I said, formerly the capital of Ireland. I didn't know that. I only found that out when I was researching it for the vlog. So make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button and uh, hit the like. It helps with the algorithms. But, but do subscribe. We're doing really well. Um, just need to get it up a little bit higher before I head off to... Uh, Head off to uh, go to Nepal in September. My goal is to have uh, be as close to a thousand subscribers for Nepal if I can. I know it's a big ask. It's it'll have been just a year by then that the channel was up. But you have to set a goal for yourself. If you don't set a goal, you'll never go anywhere. So here's a nice old brick brick red brick building 
1904. Oh, and Garda Shiakana. So, that's the sign for the guards. Doesn't look like your normal Garda barracks. Okay, and there's the back part of the cathedral. And then this goes into the residence. This is where the, the play area is. And walk down into the village or town. Comment below if you want to have me to go any other places. Uh, one option is also, so I am going to do the Tintern Abbey and the Hokai House. They're still always there in the uh, background. But I'll probably go up to Bunkodi. Bunkodi is about 15 kilometers away from uh, from Ferns. So it's about, oh, I'd say about four, 40 minutes from Wexford Town. But I would like to go up and see that. That's a nice little village as well. That's a nice little main street that is like divided into two. Really interesting. Here's a, here's a barber shop on the left. The old indication on the outside with the uh, looks like a candy cane stick. Don't know what they're called. Here's some more fuel places for your oil and gas. Here's the roundabout. There's the bus stop where we got off. Man's cleaning up the leaves. Okay, here's the water fountain here, so you can get some water. It's flowing here. Very good. So there's the Centra with the post office included in it. This looks like an old restaurant that's no longer in function because it looks like they're renovating it. And there's the notice for works, planning permission request. The Lachlan's bar looks like it's uh, no longer for business. And there's back parking for the Centra. Now these buildings, look, this whole block looks uh, in need of repair. Even that one too. And there's someone taking care of her house. Nice fine house. And there's little residential areas off the main street. There's walk-in. Chinese. Takeaway. Here's an apple green. And a subway. Like most little villages, towns have subways. You see there's an estate right behind it at the wall. A place where you could do laundry too. There's the Chinese. And a smart architecture. And then we got uh, Friday's Diner. Takeaway Pizzeria. Family Southern Fried Chicken Meal. 22 euros for family. That's not bad. Rico's Pizza and Takeaway. Saturday, Friday, Saturday, 1, 12 p.m. to 11 p.m. Doesn't look like there's much people in there. It's quiet now. Uh, Dunbar of Ferns. It's a, looks like that's a pub. There's another street. I wonder where that goes off to. Oh, that goes to Bull of Oak. And hairdressers. Here's an interesting old mill building. Looks like it's been repurposed. Let's see what's back here. I like the old building though. It still has the uh, period features like the windows haven't been done. So this is Chieftain Bookmakers. So I guess that's where they must have started from and then moved to the main street and then now that's out of business. And then here's a Ferns Steps, uh, First Step Ferns Childcare. And then a laundrette. So I guess these are apartments and that. You see the clothes line inside the house there. The bottom part are offices. That's a Dunbar One Civil Structure Consulting Engineers.
Okay, let's keep walking down. Let's go up here. And that's where we catch the bus on the way back. There's a graveyard in that, and there's a church of Ireland. So we'll go on that on the way back. We'll see what that looks like. There's a pharmacy. Kathy's food store. Yeah, we'll walk down here to the bridge, cross over, come back. We'll look inside here. There's an old building a piece in the back behind the church. We'll go look at that and then we'll head up into one of the shops see what the shop looks like and uh, get maybe a pint in one of the pubs this is a nice little estate look at that house Alderbrook there's the tractor it's a very agricultural area Wexford is so you see even on the ride up when we were passing through in Escorty, you seen there was a whole bunch of tractors and farm equipment for sale. And there's some more of the bunting from Ferns, St. Aidan's. There's a nice little car. <laughs> Antique car rolling around. Yeah, we'll walk to the to the bridge here, we'll cross over and then come back. We'll walk up to the... Looks like... I don't know if there's a cross on top. Take a look what this is. Oh! locked up but you get to go in this way see it's locked in there so I don't know what that would be used for and then you uh, see what's down here first time I've ever been here I've been through ferns a few times but there's water here well of some sort a little mini grotto. A little bench you could sit and reflect. A little stream. There it is. And then it goes to the air side. And that's what this bridge is. There's a little Wildlife uh, pollinator plant. Pretty good, pretty good. Now we'll make our way up across the road. And then there's a thatched house on the other side of the road that we'll take a look at as we're walking up towards the church. And then you see the old building in the background there. It's another interesting building. Now we have to take our life in our hands because it's 80 kilometers. So that was a success. It's all walled off. I wonder if we can get to it. I don't know. It's an old building of some sort. And here's a nice old thatch house. I like the stones on the side. St. Moog's Cottage. The President of Ireland, Mary McAleese, uh, was here on the 22nd of July, 2004. Okay, we'll walk up in here. 
I like these stone walls. Look at all the moss growing into it. Really adds character. Obviously they've been there for hundreds of years. Now, they obviously would have to have been maintained because stuff like that would eventually fall apart. So here's Church of Ireland. And this gives you what it looks like inside. St. Eden's Cathedral. Take a look around. I love the uh, the gravel that's here. And there's the old boot cleaners before you go in. You can rub your foot on there. Get all the muck from the fields. Very handy. Entrance into the cellar of the cathedral. Look at that. Wow. Oh, yeah, here's the. Wow. There's. The other end, another entrance. It's locked. And there's some more graves that's surrounding the church. Let's go the, let's go this way. How do you get down? I think we can get over to that old building, so we will do that. Just figure out a way to get down without having to jump. There we go. Success. This used to be the chapter house. This is where the wall is. And then there is an opening in the gate here, which should allow us to get over there. Oh no, it's a fenced off. Electric fence. I wonder if we can get there. Don't want to get electrocuted. How else would you get there? I wonder if this means... I wonder if you could step over this. There we go. Didn't get electrocuted, thanks to the foam cushioning. Now hopefully I don't run into any cows or at bulls charging after me. There's the background of it. Very nice. And I guess they have these designed so that the animals can't get across, but people can. Ferns, ancient capital of Leinster. So St. Mary's Abbey for the Augustine's Canons was founded in 1158. So, there's some more ruins up there too. They preserve some of these very well, eh? Look at this stone. Looks like a foundation stone or something. I don't think it's a water fountain. Look at the archways and that. 
Wow, too bad we couldn't make it up there, eh? Everything's locked. Because I think you could get up there. Looks like there's steps going up. And there we have it. We walked around the whole place. We head back. We'll get over this where the foam is protecting us. Wouldn't want to get shocked by the electricity current. There we go. And then now we make our way back towards the rest of the little town. The Cathedral Church is called. Anglican, it's an Anglican church. And then there's the graveyard itself. You can get into it. A whole bunch of graveyards but we went through the back way and there's that building in the back st mary's cathedral and now we we'll walk up hi how are you there's a walking trails it has little signs that explains where to go and where you are, although it's condensation's really logging it up there, but so that's where we were just at. Here's where we are in relation to Wexford Town, and we're Ferns up here. And then there's Tinter and Abbey, I want to go there, and then Hook Lighthouse. We we're at Kilmore Key, and we were in Gory. So we're doing a lot. Here's Bunkoti, here's where I want to go to as well. We've already done. New Ross, Carrig Burn. So we still could always go to Duncannon too. So if we make Tintern, hook Duncannon, there's a nice little loop there. I'd fancy a pint maybe. I'm thinking maybe we walk up to uh, where Doyle's was and we'll get a pint of Guinness there. I could murder a pint about now. I wonder if you can win by here. <clears throat> okay, so I'm in Doyle's bar, just in the top of Ferns, and I'm having myself a pint of the black stuff. Sancha. Very good. There. Okay, so we're here watching Ireland decimate Wales. Ireland's the number one team in the world. And I'm here in uh, Doyle's Bar. And then here with some lovely people, all dressed up in the... Uh, Green and white, watching Ireland play. So, what's your name? I'm Jill. Jill. Ronan. Ronan. Ruen. Noel. Noel. Christmas. We're going to yes. Christmas. Yeah. I'm the number one mouse in the house. <laughs> Every house should have a mouse. It's all about me now. Stop talking. What's your name? Mick. And we have Mick here now, and he's all the way from. Originally from Montreal, but I live in Wexford since 2008. So I was doing a vlog in uh, Ferns just to show what Ferns has to offer. I do all sorts of like, I've done all pretty much all of Wexford. I've been to the north in Belfast, I've been to Scotland, and I'm heading to Nepal in uh, September. So it's just about travel vlog. So that's what I'm doing. So just came in here after walking around the whole town, seeing the, the castle, which you can see actually right out the window. Uh, That's my friend smoking out of the window, look. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Where Cromwell destroyed it. Um, so, yeah. Do you have many followers on your blog? I just started in uh, August, and I have about 255 followers. 
But I have about 3,000 hours of watch time and about 20 some odd thousand views. So we're getting there. So hopefully by by next year when I when this year when I go to Nepal, you know, I'll be up over yeah, a no, thousand. So. Yeah, leave us your name, man. Look it up there. Yeah, I'll give you my card there. So oh, yeah. I have a card there. Nice, yeah. There you go. Thank you. Thank you.